Hey, my name is Guy Chalamish and I'm from Bike Panel, the Israeli cycling magazine and we're here today with FIDF, Friends of IDF. about the Friends of the IDF. The main goal was to uh, help the Israeli soldiers. The welfare is to make sure that the Israeli soldier service is going to be easier and also to make sure that the future is going to be brighter. The reason I did the ride last year and again this year is um, I, I love bicycling and I love Israel. I support the mission of the FIDF. Well, I saw my Facebook feed, it said 60 cycling in Israel, and I thought, what a good way to celebrate my 60th birthday and get me back to Israel. We also uh, support the soldiers to go to university right after their military service. Those soldiers that served the country, they got support from the army. They have uh, unprivileged, they're coming from poor families. They're coming to us, they apply for scholarship. We already since the establishment of the program, we send uh, 13,000 uh, IDF soldiers to college. The whole thing um, helped them you know, to be better in their life, to support themselves and their family. It was a tough ride from Eilat to Mitzbeh Ramon and uh, that first climb out of uh, Eilat was tough. It was a, a tough climb, it was a real climb. Uh, it had steeper sections than I thought. I got to ride with uh, Israeli champ Roy Goldstein who's just amazing. He marshaled the speed for the old guys like us. So Roy, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm here to, to support and to show my appreciation to this uh, organization uh, for all the giving uh, to us, to the people, to the, to the Israeli army and it's, it's pretty amazing how this, this guy is riding and to hear the stories. Uh, so this year I finished my first year as a real professional. Uh, I live in Spain, in Girona. Uh, all the team live there. We're training together, we're racing together and live as every other professional in the world. So Roy is part of the Cycling Academy, it's the first Israeli professional team. We're gonna have uh, the Giro d'Italia in Israel next year, so it's a very special year in Israel for cycling. Most of the people tell me that they mainly wanted a great, you know, vacation, cycling vacation, and they see Israel through that, contributing to the FIDF, etc. It's kind of a bonus. It's, it's not the first motivation of m most people who came here, right? Well, it, it certainly wasn't mine. Um, I came to cycle. When I saw it on the Facebook feed, I immediately contacted the local, I'm in San Francisco, the local director, and they had a ride coming up for 30 miles to kind of train and teach us what it was about. And so I met Adi Deutsch at the uh, reception, actually at my law office in San Francisco, and then we rode together, and his story was so inspiring. Here he is, a man who stepped on a landmine in 1979, and. Um, through the FIDF, he was able to get these three special prosthetics in New York, so now he can compete in able-bodied Ironman. More than that, we support the widows and orphans. We help those that they lost their loved ones uh, in the military service. Um, uh, we are all around the country in uh, 21 different chapters uh, around the U.S. and also in Panama. Uh, we are raising uh, more than uh, $110 million a year. Uh, I was uh, a soldier in the Israeli Defense Force. I was injured in uh, Lebanon in, in an operation that was triggered after a terrible terror attack whereby about 35 uh, innocent people, families, kids were essentially killed. An attack that uh, was initiated from southern Lebanon by Yasser Arafat. And they took a hostage of a bus full of uh, families. They went back to, they drove to Tel Aviv. 
and on the skirts of Tel Aviv, the government decided we're not negotiating with terrorists, they stopped them. I was an officer at the time, I was called with my platoon, with my unit, uh, to southern Lebanon. The objective was to push them further away from the border. And during that operation, I was uh, injured, I was considered to be severely injured, I lost my leg above the knee. Throughout the years, I had this uh, desire to go back to sports. I was, I was an athlete before I lost my leg, and I was never able to really do what I wanted. I wasn't able to run, I wasn't able to bike, and it was quite a frustrating thing for me. Uh, after many years of attempts to try and convince the Israeli Ministry of Defense to initiate a program like that and send people for training, they were reluctant, but the leg I'm wearing, which is above me, cost about $85,000. I think mean, that's a very expensive piece of equipment. But still, you know, we want to do sports. We want to do things that we did before, and we don't want to sit on our butt and cycle with our hands, and we don't want to run on crutches. We want to actually do what every able-bodied individuals are capable of doing. I got a phone call from an Israeli girl named Betty Mikhailovich and she said, you know, I heard about you, I heard you're very passionate about that. We have here in San Diego in Chula Vista a training camp with American soldiers and there is a room for six Israeli amputees. Would you be willing to undertake this initiative? I actually flew to Israel especially for that. We recruited six amputees. I actually joined forces with a non-for-profit organization called Tikvot. I funded part of it, they funded the majority. Uh, we flew those six Israelis to the camp. They were blown away. I mean, they were able to see that even without equipment, special equipment, you could do all this activity. We then flew them to New York to do some artificial leg where I did my legs. It was really amazing. I mean, we raised money actually. We went to synagogues in the area of Long Island. We raised about half a million dollars and we actually paid him about half the cost of, of what we actually got. How do I now create a program that all Israelis, not necessarily Israeli Defense Force uh, injured uh, soldiers, but also you know, uh, cancer survivors, diabetes, uh, accidents will actually benefit. Uh, I went to, somebody told me about the friend of IDF. Six months later, we launched the STRIDES program. I think all in all, uh, we raised the uh, uh, FIDF raised close to $3 million. <laughs> ride from Mitzvah Ramon to um, somewhere near Gaza and um, uh, sort of downhill, much easier than yesterday, a couple stops to uh, visit an army base and uh, it's an easy rest day. I came last year and had a blast and uh, I've been thinking about coming this year since I got off the bike last year. Um, it's just a, a fantastic ride, it's so fantastic. I broke my collarbone 12 weeks ago went out and bought a stationary bike so I could come on the trip so I wouldn't be out of shape on the trip. And how is it going so far? Oh, it's different? great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Your shape is good? My shape is good. I'm probably in better shape this year than last year. Why would you say to your friends, come with me next year? Okay, so great riding. And I've been to Israel so many times, spent almost two years here, and it's just such a different way to see Israel. Uh, from the ground, riding through the desert, or, or last year it was in the Golan Heights, I saw things, I mean, I've been all over Israel, but I've seen things I've never seen before. I've never been to Mitzvah Ramon. And uh, you just see a different side of Israel, but also going to the bases is fantastic. And being with wounded soldiers is very inspiring. Um, it makes you never want to complain again in your life.